Okay, we're in the uh, shop now. I'm going to go ahead and go through the process that I normally go through. It'll be a little bit more in detail because normally I just do this on the fly. Take a card off the printer, weigh it, add ink, reset it, do everything there by the printer. But what I have done is I removed a yellow card. Now, none of my cards on that particular Pro 38 really need it to be refilled because they're only about one third down. But I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what it is that I do. Okay, this is the cart that I removed from the printer. It's about, I would say, a third of the way down. So it really doesn't require to be refilled. But I've gone ahead and replaced it with a full one. I always have full sets of carts at the ready in case I need to replace the whole lot. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the reset. Now, sometimes what occurs is that you have to reset the cart twice. It's kind of an, odd, an oddity and it's kind of random uh, often just one reset will be sufficient so we're going to go ahead and here's the side with the chip on it this aligning little frame here is pretty much foolproof as you can see it flashed red it went green and then it goes blank that's reset and now just to make sure I'll reset it one more time. Red, green, and blank. Okay, so now we're ready. Now, if you're good with math, and let me tell you, I am, I'm terrible with it, you will simply weigh the cart. A full cart contains enough ink, and with the cart body, it should weigh in at 150 grams. I'm at 134 right now. So you would subtract 134 from 150 and that would be the amount of ink you would need to bring this card up to factory full condition. Now if you want to do it the easy way, just put an empty card on there. Of course reset this to zero. Put the empty card like so and then zero it out. Now when you put your card that you're going to top off, it'll immediately tell you how many grams of ink are actually in it. So it's reading 68. I need to bring it to 90. Remember these cards actually hold 90 ml of ink. The factory so-called reported amount or volume is 80. That's what you pay for. It contains another extra 10 ml so that you never ever end up introducing air into the lines. How that would happen, I really doubt if it would ever happen even with just 80 ml. Now the chip will report it as empty and then you replace it and of course then you toss it or, or take it over to one of these recycling companies. You're really losing 10 ml of ink on the average per empty cart. So keep that in mind if you start refilling with Epson OEM type ink which is what I do. Okay, so I am at 70 grams. That means to add 20 ml of ink to this card to bring it up to full factory volume, which is 90 ml. Now, as you can see here, I have little bottles. And I have many of those. This one contains yellow K3 OEM, which is good for the 2400, the 2880, and both the 3800 and the 3880 and any of the larger large format printers that utilize K3, even Vivid Magenta printers. So I normally would attach my adapter to this bottle and just fill. It's, it can be a mess because uh, you're not really uh, measuring the amount of uh, ink that you're injecting if you use this, this type of bottle. So I'd rather use a syringe. This is what I do for refilling my refillable cards for the 20, 2400, 2880, and so on. I just pop the, uh, the little plug, I inject the ink, pop the plug back in, and I'm done. So, as I stated in a previous video, I buy OEM inks from various internet, eBay type resellers. This particular one, and I, I laugh because it's kind of funny, they sell ink by the bag. These are the bags straight out of a uh, 110 ml cartridge. I guess it's cheaper for them to mail just the bag. I don't know. Don't know why they do that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to withdraw 20 ml with this 10 ml syringe. I wish I had a 20 ml syringe with me, but I do not. So simply put, let me put, put everything out of the way here. We'll go ahead and insert this adapter. And by the way, by the way, let me let me stop and, and give you this heads up. This adapter is a special adapter sold by rjettech.com. It's part of a, about a $70 uh, Epson card refill kit. And I don't mean refillables, I mean original Epson cards. There are many of the earlier cards that can be refilled. And I have an extensive video covering that. Now, in order for you to obtain this refilling tip, you would have to buy a whole refilling kit. But I found out by calling RJ Tech on the phone that if I order at least $30 worth of these tips, I can just buy the tips by themselves. I have a part number, but you will never find it on their website. It's something that you would have to call in. Just so you all know, there's a $30 limit. Or $30 minimum, I should say, of uh, any order that you place. So what I will be doing is I'm going to order maybe 50 of these and have them on hand. I will be selling them to anyone who needs them. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. There's absolutely no air in this bag at this moment. This bag still has a one-way ink flow. I can only pull ink out. I cannot re-inject ink in. So I'm going to make very, very sure that what I am, uh, you know, aspirating. It's exactly what I need. And that was 20 ml. We'll go ahead and reset this back. If you wait too long, it'll just turn itself off. Okay. All right, so I'm at 70. I need 20 ml to bring it up to 90. So simply put, I'm just going to inject. I'm, gonna, I'm going to insert my tip and withdraw the required amount of ink. I'm going to give it an extra ml because I have some air in there. And of course the tip itself and the stem takes a little bit of volume. Now I'm going to make sure that I do not inject that last bit of air. I'm going to stop prior to that. As you can see, the ink goes into the card bag perfectly. That's because of the modification that I made on all of these cards. If you're curious about that, I have videos covering all of that. So now I'm at 80 grams as indicated by my scale. I'm going to go ahead and pull out 11. We'll inject 10. 10 or 11. You can actually put maybe five extra ml, but it's not really recommended. That sometimes overinflates the bag, and you may have some uh, back pressure. So in order to know, I don't know if you can see, I'm getting some back pressure. So now I'm just going to pull back a little bit, and I am at 92 ml. In fact, 90 ml now, once it settles. So that is the perfect volume. I am done. I'm going to put the excess ink on my little bottle here. I don't let ink go to waste. I use these bottles for my refillables. So I am actually using refillables but with OEM inks. The quality is of course top of the line. I'm using Epson inks on refillables. The only difference would be refillable cards don't have the excellent flow capabilities or characteristics of an Epson OEM card. That's a known fact. All right, so now I'm going to just go ahead and put this card away. But before I do so, I'm going to put the little vent plug on the little vent post. I'm going to take a little bit of Windex and I'm going to go ahead and wipe the port to remove any kind of uh, ink that might have uh, spilled out. As you can see, it's a fairly 
um, mess free procedure if you do it just like I just demonstrated it'll be practically 100% mess free all right so that's it this card is ready to go into my printer okay I hope this helped out if you have any questions absolutely write them onto the comment section if you have found these videos helpful of course please don't hesitate to subscribe and please hit the like button that helps me out a lot thank you so much and until the next time happy printing bye bye